everyone, Jack here for Gozo's World and today welcome to another edition of the pickups video. This time we're going to do both stores, one at Game Base and one from CEX. So basically I went to Dover in Kent for a week that one here, I had a fantastic time there. Some mixtures of wet, a lot of rain, sunny, cloud, it's a mixture of weather that one here. But Anyway, we're going to do both these um, stores, that one here, together. Now we're going to start out with CEX, is that one here. So, first one, of course, it's a nice area, that one here. Um, not quite small, small, but it's a good sizable, that one there. Really good sizable, that one here. So, I picked up four games. They were one PlayStation 1, two PlayStation Portables, and one PlayStation 1. You're thinking, that's a little odd. Well, I thought you say PS1 go first. But I'll save that for one here on the last bit. For one here, so stay tuned. So anyway, let's start it off. So the game I got for the PlayStation 2. This one, I had been bugging it for, for years. And now I finally have possession of it. So ladies and gentlemen, is this. Yep, yeah, time for Wild Funnel Crazy Taxi. Finally, I have it for the PlayStation 2. Because Crazy Taxi is told by the Rates of Stories that it's celebrating 21 years. 21 years since Crazy Taxi been shipping it worldwide. From arcade machines to Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, Xbox and GameCube. This is the cake icing in the cake for one there. But anyway, there is a screenshot, that one here, of the gameplay. So we can play four characters, that one here. And so we get the original, you get arcade, original, and crazy box. That's quite interesting to see. So, how much I paid for this? Three pounds. Not bad for that one there, for three pounds worth for that one there. So let's check it out. Okay, so we don't have an instruction manual inside, but we've got the disc in here. But hopefully, I know how it, you know, to control someone, but hopefully maybe get something fun. And, whoa, look at this. Perfect clean. Very nicely clean indeed here. That's cool. So, I'm really thrilled to get Crazy Taxi now I have possession of it. Now, I'm not sure I might do a playthrough in it on YouTube. Because some of them are songs are copyrighted. So, i got to be really, really careful of that one here. But, hopefully... Once I have got my saw myself, my Twitch set up, that one here coming soon, then I'll do Crazy Taxi playthrough for fun. That one here. So that's really interesting to see. Next up, let's start with two games for the PlayStation Portable. This one here is a good, a great deal. But now I have it. There it is. Need for Speed Most Wanted 510, that one here. So basically, i never seen this one here on the PlayStation Portable before. But this one is a is really good gameplay through in it. So if you if you got Need for Speed Most Wanted, that one there, then you know it is. But like in the PSP version. But don't worry, I do have... Don't worry, I have that Need for Speed Most Wanted, that one on PS2 years ago. So hopefully that's had two interesting for more collection. So... Basically, I got this for four pounds. Let's have a look. Okay, so we have no instruction manual inside, but we'll check the disc. Yeah, looks like a nice. Wait, our service has got a lot of scratches around, but inside the, the reading disc, yep, yeah, very nicely cleaned. Very well protected that one here. So that's a really amazingly for one here. So for need for speed, so I cannot wait to play through it. Now next up for the PlayStation Portable one, the second one, and this one, I've been wanting this for as well since I got the PlayStation Portable back. But now I finally have this game, I've never played it before, and now I have it. Yep, another Crazy Taxi, and this time it's called Crazy Taxi Fair Wars. Now, what's for this one here that's on this game? Basically... Basically, you can play two games in one disc going it, like a part of a collection. So basically, you get like Crazy Taxi, the first, and 
Crazy Taxi 2. Crazy Taxi 2, I have never seen that before with that one there. Only Crazy Taxi 2 did run it only on Dreamcast only for that one here for this. And I know for the fact there is another one like Crazy Taxi 3 on the Xbox version. I mean if all three Crazy Taxis in the PlayStation Portable, that could be the first trilogy in this collection. But absolutely I'm thrilled with this to, to get it. I just have fingers crossed if it's still there, it does still there. And I got this for four pounds. So we go inside. Okay, so we have, of course, the manual. So I hope they will get the instructions. Oh yeah, here we are. Here's the instructions. So there's the instructions that were there, how to play it. Okay, so we have the R button for the accelerator and the brake for L. Now I think for the PlayStation Two now means that L1 and R2, but well, actually. L1 and L2 would be for brakes, and for R1 and R2, that one there for the accelerator. But obviously, well, now I know how to get this, so hopefully I could do that. Let's have a look inside the disc and see. Okay, our surface has got like a lot of scratches around the grease, but but the reading like inside of the here is too greasy cleaned. Looks like well protected that one here, so that is really amazing one. Gotta love Crazy Taxi and bring there hopefully more PSP collection coming soon. I went so hopefully for that. So stay tuned. Now for the PlayStation One. This one here it is an icing in the cake. I was first one to look at the stores, looking at some retros. I was shocked my eyes like this. It says, oh my god, yes, that's the one I wanted. So ladies and gentlemen, here it is, yes the first medieval that one here, I finally have it. So basically this is the platinum edition if you can see it right now. And I got this for 12 pounds, 12 quid, that is amazingly. When I was looked at from CEX website on the app, it looks to be between 18, 20 pounds that one there for the black and normal edition, but the platinum edition. 12 pounds so I saved eight quid's worth for it that is really amazing so there is a screenshot of the game that one here so hopefully we'll see that I did play it on the PS4 remastered version I got the platinum for it and I was really enjoying it for one there but I want to get the PS1 version now I have my possession so that is gonna be say I'm really thrilled so anyway let's have a good size so we have the manual really nice manual here and, oh, wait just a minute. Looks like something's got something inside here. Let's have a look. And it is... Sorry, guys. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God, look! I just made my day for one here. This is the map for one here from the game itself here. Oh wow, so everything you have seen here, so where you can find all your potions of your health, your money, your bounty, your swords, weapons, your daggers, and even a, tomb, a tombstone and a shield, that one here. But my god, this is awesome. I'm really, really thrilled with this one here. But the back... Wait just a minute, look what something at the back. Hey! <laughs> Medieval 2 poster inside, wow! That is amazingly, look at that. Very, very cool. Ah, oh, that is amazing. So whoever saw this one, you know, and guys, if you got like Medieval, one thing, Keep this with you, if that one there, to play through in it, to hopefully show your children around. But, wow, that is amazingly, so cannot wait to get back onto it. And doing a playthrough coming soon to my channel. So anyway, let's check the disc. Look at that! Perfect clean through in there. Perfect clean in the front, perfect clean at the back. Wow! That is amazingly. I am so thrilled. 
CX Dover never disappoints me. Now I'm really thrilled about one. So all these things together, all the games, £23. That is amazing, Lee. So kudos to CEX for that one there. Eh? Thank you. Now we're moving on to the next one here. And if you see like a thumbnail for one there, it is game base for one there we're going to be talking about. So game base is just like a two minute, maybe a one, two minute walk for that one here. But the store looks amazingly for that one here. I didn't get a chance to vlog it for when I forgot to bring my camera, video vlog camera. But you know, you win some, you lose some. But I did got some snapshots, the pictures from inside the store. I didn't get the outside for when I unfortunately didn't get enough time. But these are the stuff are now into game base. So hopefully everyone can see it. And then once we've seen the slideshow, Walk well, straight into the pickup. So anyway, enjoy the slideshow. And there you go. So that is a slideshow of the store of that one here. I hope everyone enjoyed that. If you've seen a very huge black bin in the background, that is the game room for that one here. They do like tournaments inside, like Fortnite, uh, FIFA, even course for fun for the kids that one here. I hope you saw that what that picture, you know how much is the price that one here. But obviously an amazing for that one here. So let's get started with uh, the games I picked up so far. So I got four Xbox 360s and two PlayStation 2 games. So let's check it out. So first one for Xbox, so one of the four, is this one. Yep, Frozen Motorsport 2, that one here. And the price I got this for £3. Nicely deal for that one here, so... So there's the snapshots of the game, that one there, of course, we're going to be seeing. So anyway, let's check and see what's inside. So we've got a booklet and a disc in here. Yeah, looks like very nicely. A nicely clean front one here. So that's really happy with that. Okay, next up for number two of the four is this one. Yep, another Frozen Mode Sport, and this time is number three. And I this one price I got is for two pounds fifty. Not bad for that price that one there. So we have we have a Maserati and the Audi R raid together, race off. I mean I'm really happy with this one. So and he said this is a two disc version for that one here. So I may have double checked to make sure. So there is a disc. And of course the manual, so let's have a look. Yeah, nicely, very nicely, well clean. Okay, oh yeah, here we are. The installing disc, that one here, is here for one of the disc number two. And it's really important, like, because uh, if you if you get in, like, Final Fantasy 7 Remake and The Last of Us Part 2, then you know you get two discs. One disc contains your content of the installing the disc, that one here, for update. And then the, uh, the first disc, that one here, will be for your gameplay so anyway that is really cool i didn't get a chance to get the fourth one but you know but hopefully we'll get five one one day okay this one number f next one number three out of the four this one is a yay one pip and it's this for dreamcast collection yes the entire dreamcast collection is finally here I got this for £5. Not bad at all, that one here. So, 
Here we are. So we can change four games in here. So we got Sonic Adventure. We got Space Channel 5.2. For the bottom here, we got the Sea Bass. I take like a Sea uh, Bass Fishing. And of course, they are all favourites. Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic Adventure on the Xbox 360. That is amazing, lady. Wow. So, here we are. Four games in one disc. Got one there. So, that is cool. So, let's check the reading to make sure. Look at that. Perfect reading for it. Perfectly well. So, anyway, I'm thrilled with that one. Okay, we're down to the last one, and this one is a yes, yes, yes one here. As you've seen that on the Xbox 360, I started getting collecting like some spying games, just like Rumble Roses XX and even Dead or Alive 4. This one, I have my icing in the cake. Yeah, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I want, want this so much on there, and the price, you see. Eight pounds. This one is actually cheaper than CX is. Don't want it. I mean, CX at the moment is like between minimum to twelve to fifteen pounds worth. I mean, that is amazing. They so Game Base kept it nicely worth an offer. So they have here the whole roster for side. But anyway, I one thing you know, I did got. I, mean, I have Marvel vs. Capcom Ultimate ones for PS3 and the PS4. But hopefully, if you want to see it get an Xbox One, stay tuned for that one there. But you know, who knows? But it might be this year or next year. Stay tuned. So we have here inside. So we have a manual in the disc. Let's hope to make sure. Yes, look at that. Another clean through. Another clean. Very nicely. And very nice. So that is all of the Xbox 360 titles, that one here. So I'm happy with all four of them, though, and I really do. So hopefully I might do a play for it on my channel coming soon, that one there. But it will take me some time to get some practicing, you know, up again, like uh, all the equipment ready for it. But stay tuned. Now we're going to move it on to the next one is a PlayStation 2s. Now the first one of the two. It's this one, Sonic Riders. Yes, I got it, and I got this for three pounds. Nicely, nicely deal for that one there. So there's Sonic, Knuckles, someone there, Tails, Amy, the gang are back, and this time we are doing it on a very differently um, hoverboarding, hover snow hoverboarding. I mean that's really cool. So let's check inside. So we have. We have a, there's a manual and even the disc here. Just want to make sure if it's goodly conditioned. Yeah, so we've seen it got a little bit free deep scratches, but not damaging it so far. But I know you've seen it like I say it's like normal, but in real life, that one, you got about maybe two or three uh, cuts that one, not too deep, but just like a little, a little mark that one, there, like a little scar that one. There. But anyway, that's really amazing to see for one here for Sonic Riders. Now this one here, I say the best one for last. And this one I wanted so much. And I was surprised with it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's this. Yes, I have a Xeno Saga episode 2. This one is the icing in the cake for one there. I was really thrilled with it. Mobile Games Exchange had that before when I was around, but unfortunately it was sold it quickly. But as you can see, a little bit, a little bit wear and tear for one here. But you know, so it's nice to keep hold of it. But the price, amazingly, look at that, eighteen pounds, and also including a bonus DVD on it. Whoa! Let's check it out. Oh. Cool! Look at that! Nicely designing for one here, from the, from the back of it. And you see inside. Here we are, two more. That is really cool. Okay, now it's time to open up. And here we go. Yeah, here we are! 
free disc and the manual right here. Oh, that is amazingly. So here we are in close. That's one. There's a DVD. And there's a manual. Oh, I forgot to mention there's number two. Oh, and there's just two. So anyway, let's make sure if it's uh, nicely conditioned. So let's start with disc number one. Like here. Perfect. Very nicely perfect, that one there. So that is a, that's a good start. Next up to number two. Yep, yeah, so here we are. Another base one here. Look at that. Nicely cleaning for it. Another good for one here. Another good. That's two for free. And now time for the special one here. The DVD. So I think this is, contains a makers of the game for one here. And maybe a little cutscene movie. Look at that. I thought I'd show you now. Look at that. Very nicely here. So, with the back. Another nicely one here. Very nice. Look at that. Very nicely cleaned indeed, that one here. Wow. I will say this. What an amazing one here. If it's like, if, if it's a rare game, that one here, this one might look around about like, say, might be 40 to 60 pounds worth, if it's a mint condition, or more, but, but who knows, but I'm really thrilled, we're getting Zeno Sega, one here, episode 2, now as you know that term, what about the first one, well the first one is in Japan import, so, if I can get a PS2 or region for that one here, hopefully I will try to get that very first episode 1 for it. But I'm really thrilled with all these games that I got here from Gamebase. I got this for £39.50 all together. Really, really amazingly. So, big, big, say, big, big, big shout outs to the lovely people for one there, the, uh, the manager of that one here, like the staff members, and to allow me to take pictures and hopefully share this video on the Facebook link for one here. I will put that um, the Facebook link on Game Base Shop in the description, so hope you go check it out. So if you live in Kent or you're about to go to the Dover in Kent, then one thing: go to Game Base. That one here. Maybe until when the lockdown when the lockdown's done. It's going to be happening like tomorrow, but even though, of course, they, you know, once it's open, go check the store out. Lovely people, good deals. You're going to love it. But anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed this uh, pickups here. And remember, drop a like, comment below, click punch, the subscribe button, and tap the bell for notifications to see more videos coming to my channel very soon. Till then, this is Jack here. See ya!